Okay, now you want to cut your tip on your caulking tube just a little bigger than the area you're caulking. Now, I've come so far now, you can see I'm going to get hit this partition right here, right? This end of the cabinet. So now I'm going to come around and go back to this corner. And I'm going to start from the corner and then I'm going to come back right into this corner, all right? Now, what we're going to do is All right, now this tube is a used tube. It's not a brand new tube. This is reused. All right, so I'm just gonna take this and just kind of wipe this in here this way. All right. Then I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna push this down in here, and I'm gonna take the excess. All right, you see there, I'm gonna start it here at the corner. And get that in there now this isn't how I would normally do it but like I said the tip on my caulking gun that's a used tube all right and so the tips a little bigger than what it should be and it would be normally all right now you see the caulking here on the wall all right I push it down to the to the shelf. Now I'm going to come against this wall and I'm going to pull it against the wall. All right, and I'm going to get that smoothed out. And I'm going to take this excess. I really don't want to waste it. Okay. As you can see, I'm applying it here. All right. Again, I'm going to come back here. I'm going to get a new spot. All right, a clean spot. I'm going to go against the wall with my finger. All right, I'm just going to come here and wipe. Basically, I'm just wiping the wall. Look what's behind. See how it's nice and smooth behind my finger. All right, then I'm going to come into the corner and I'm going to come straight up into this corner here, filling as I go. All right, now. There's still a little bit of residue there, which we can see, and you don't want to leave that. You want to make sure you wipe it off. You just want it in the joint where you have the crack, all right? Now, when I get this wiped off, okay, this is in a closet, and this is the area no painters really care about. It's where you're gonna see the most sloppiest work most of the time is in the closet. All right, but not me. All right. You wanna get the surface smooth and get all the excess removed from the wall and the side, as you can see. Okay, got a little bit of fill to do in there, but that's what we're looking for right there. This is just showing it's wet. All right, that's just showing wet. Now, okay, again, this is not how I would normally do it, but this is used caulking. It's been sitting around, and so it's a little bit heavy, you know, and so I'm going to take this, and again, I'm just going to put it right here where I've got the space, the air gap. And I'm just going to shove it in there. You can see what I'm leaving behind, and you can see, all right, much better. There'll be less cleanup there. All right. I can feel it just pushing right into the joint. All right, there it is. The joint's filled all the way across. It's filled. All right, that's just where it's unpainted at the edge. The joint's filled. 
Okay, now I'm going to start here at the top. Okay, and I'm going to come right here, squeeze just a little, and you just want to lay it into that corner. Laying it into that corner, that little gap's okay because it's going to get filled. But normally it would be much better than this. All right, now we're into our other caulking. And, all right, so now again, I'm just going to take this. All right, see what I'm dealing with here. I'm just going to push it into the joint. All right. Bam, done. And now we've got this right here. Okay, we got this brace. And we're going to seal all the joints in this. Okay. Now, I'm going to start up here. You can see where the paint pretty much filled it, but you'd see what's kind of deep in that in that joint, all right? So, I am going to take the caulking gun. I'm going to start up here at the top. Get this at about a 30 degree angle, 15 degree angle here, all right? Yeah, about a 15. And lightly squeeze. And we're just going to fill this in. All right, you always want to push this lever. If you don't push this lever right here, the release, you'll have it to continue to come out of the tube, all right? To take the pressure off of the tube by pressing your release lever there. Now, again, I'm going to take this. And I'm going to press this in right there. And as you see, it's filling it nicely. There's my gap. So now I'm going to come back the other way in the opposite direction. I'm going to come back, taking this excess that's here and pushing it into the gap. All right. And we still have a little bit of gap there we, got, we want to work on. All right, so we're just going to take a little bit right here. Bam, done. All right, and push that in there. Bam, fingers coming on around. Okay, and look, it's nice and smooth. I'll accept for right here. All right, so I'm going to come back here to the top at this point, and I'm going to catch it all. Okay, now let's look at that. Up close and personal. All right, now I'm going to take this, I'm going to rinse this here, okay.